Sooner or later, many of the president's subordinates face the same dilemma. They can respect the law or they can work for Donald Trump. It's often just not possible to do both. Homeland Security Secretary Kirstjen Nielsen became the latest cabinet member to pay the price for not letting Trump do what he wants and on the issue he cares about more than any other when she was forced to resign on Sunday. It was a case of the Trump revolution eating one of its own, since Nielsen, an immigration hardliner, was seen as insufficiently doctrinaire despite becoming the face of the zero-tolerance immigration policy that led to child separations and caused outrage last year. But CNN reporting makes clear that Nielsen also lost her job because she ultimately came to believe that Trump's wilder impulses on immigration an issue that he sees as critical to his re-election in 2020 threatened America's security and may have run contrary to the law. Nielsen is not the first senior cabinet official to lose their career after coming up against Trump's vision of his own authority or his instinct to elevate largely unaccountable appointees, such as domestic policy advisor Stephen Miller or his son-in-law, Jared Kushner. In their own ways, former Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, former FBI Director James Comey, and even former Attorney General Jeff Sessions the spiritual father of much of the administration's immigration policy suffered a similar fate. Unlike the president, these public servants eventually concluded that the Constitution, the rule of law and the norms of democratic governance rendered some of Trump's behavior unacceptable. Nielsen's departure, which was accompanied by a White House sweep against her department that also accounted for the director of the Secret Service, sends a signal that Trump is ready to do whatever it takes to stem the crisis on the U.S.-Mexico border which is threatening to expose his vows to stem the flows of migrants from Central America as hello. That will be welcome news for Trump's supporters, who relish his bypassing of the Washington establishment and overwhelmingly back his hard line on immigration and warnings that the U.S. is under siege by an invading tide of criminals. But the president's desire to honor the faith of his base on immigration eventually made Nielsen's position untenable.